found out that my dead zone is actually a decimal bar. The dead zone, like the dead zone bar functions like these do. You just can't see the decimal point on the bar. I'm at the lowest possible 2% dead zone I can be at. It's a 2 that turns into a 4, that turns into a 7, that turns into a 9. If I try to make it move 0.1 to the left, it turns into a 1. I'm at 8 response curve instead of 7 response curve. Because at 7 response curve, I experience so much drift that I can't even like keep it in one spot. I'm still fighting the drift at 8 response curve, but it's moving less than it was at 7 response curve, so I can keep it in a spot a little bit easier. When I was playing at 279, I noticed every bump in this slope. When I was playing at 279, I felt acceleration, then deceleration, then acceleration, and deceleration, and then it also felt like the back half of the slope was accelerating more than the front half. The, the acceleration and the deceleration was due to the outer threshold because of inconsistent block spacing. I went to 259, it turns into a, it looks like a 6 right now. I went to 259 and I was playing at that, and it felt smoother, but then I still felt the back half of the slope accelerating more than the front half of the slope. That's due to the response curve. So I decreased the response curve, and I'm as low as I can possibly be at this dead zone. I'm playing at 5% outer threshold because it's the first spot where a second block slope is created. I want the second block to be closer to the first block because it makes it feel like I'm playing at a lower response curve without actually playing at a lower response curve. It feels more responsive. I'm not playing at 6% because it creates inconsistent block spacing. There's another slope I could play at, at 9%, but I would have to sit here and stare at each block and make sure that the, sp the spacing up the slope is consistent. At 5%, the second block and the third block, and I th the fourth block and the fifth block, I have all moved one time. And then the sixth block and the seventh block have moved two times. And I'm assuming the eighth block has moved twice, and then the third block, or the ninth block may have moved twice, and then the tenth block may have moved three times. It just needs to go consistently, it needs to accelerate consistently up the slope in order for it to not feel strange. But I may go up to 9%, because I haven't been able to play the game in order to see how things feel versus moving target compensation, because I'm experiencing too much packet loss when I'm playing the game. And it's going to be another week until my internet service provider can come out here and work on the lines to try and figure out why my upload speed is varying so much because currently it's like below one one megabyte per second but sometimes it'll be up to 15 like it's just weird I'm gonna explain the ADS and then I'm gonna explain the hip fire I'm at 146 on my ADS because when I'm close to a target in basically melee range and I'm doing this back and forth just seeing how it feels to push through the target compensation it doesn't, I don't physically tense up. If I'm at 145, I physically tense up and feel like I have to push it. Like I, I'm trying to get strong and push it, but I can't do it because the game's not going to give me any more speed. I'm at 146 because it doesn't feel like I don't physically tense up. I'm not struggling to get on target. I have both of, I have both of them at 146 so that I feel the same target compensation resistance no matter what direction I push in. I have one extra and 20% delay in all of this so that if I ever like get stuck on the backside of somebody's momentum, like if there's a Valkyrie from butter flying through the sky, I will usually I'll get trapped on the backside of their momentum and I can't actually get my shot on target. I'm trying to create just a little bit of acceleration to push me towards the target so I don't feel like I get trapped off target. I played a brief game at 288 with 8 here and I noticed when it was kicking in. I felt I felt 8 activating so I don't think I want to be at 8. I'm going to try and keep it around a very low number, like one or two. I, 
have the hip fire. I have 278 on my hip fire because of this. When I'm moving back and forth and I'm shooting, or moving back and forth and hip fire on this target, there's going to be a point where the aim assist basically unlocks and per like it stops tracking for me and it's going to like knock me off target. When I get knocked off target, I'm paying attention to how comfortable and smoothly I'm able to get myself back on target. And 278 seems to be responsive and comfortable. I don't feel like I'm moving too quickly and I don't feel like I'm moving too slowly. My pitch speed could be 238, but I'm, when I'm playing at a 40 point difference, I feel like I can kind of, I could increase my pitch speed. I went up to 242 because at 243, I don't like how, how fast it's moving vertically. I haven't been able to actually hip fire people at this new shape that my hip fire would be making. So I don't know if I want to be at 242. I could possibly be decrease it all the way down to, to 238, but I won't know until I play the game. I have 10 extra yaw with 33% ramp up time and 20% delay so that when I go to turn around, so from here to around here is when it kicks in. The 20% delay is activating here. So once I start to try to turn around, I'll get a little bit of speed so that I don't feel like I'm too slow when I'm turning around. I can do this, I, it's, and it doesn't matter which, which angle I approach the, approach the rope. I can always turn around and still do it. On certain settings, I have to to come at it at an angle in order to like basically turn halfway before I actually end up turning. But the way it's set up currently, I can just jump at the rope straight and turn around and catch it as long as my my execution of the the movement is fine. This is what I'm going to be playing at once my my internet's fine. It seems like it's going to be fine. It's the lowest possible dead zone I can play at, the lowest possible outer threshold I would play at, the lowest possible response curve I can play at. It's what? The, the lowest possible ADS and pitch speed that I would want to play at, the lowest possible extra I would want to play at, most likely the lowest possible delay I would want to play at. Everything is as low as possible. I just don't know what it's going to be like until I can shoot people. If they added, they added like a prowler nest or a, a spider nest to this, it would provide the firing range with moving target compensation and it would aid people in their ability to assess their settings without having to go into the game and fight other people or have other people join the firing range with them. If they just put prowlers in here, I could trigger the prowlers and see how my my settings handle versus people versus this moving target compensation. But whatever, whatever. That's that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm out. Bye.